You might remember that part one ended with us doing the basic step. And I told you to think about coming back to center on that because the first thing we're going to do in part two is we're going to be hip bumping right left. So we need to have our feet more centered so that we can put our right left, you know, get our weight into that without being spread out like this and we can't move our hips. So we had just ended with our basic step. We're stepping back to center and we're bumping right, left, right, left, right, left, shimmy. Now we're going to come to our shoulders and do the same thing. Just shrug forward and then shimmy. Right, left, right, left, right, left, shimmy. Goes right back to the hips. Right, left, right, left, right, left, shimmy. And ending up with the shoulders one last time. Right, left, right, left, right, left, shimmy. Now we're going to be turning the hip circles to each side. So if I'm turning towards my right, I want my hip circles to be going counterclockwise around me. And then as the weight is shifting over my feet, I can pick up the one that doesn't have the weight on it currently and use that to turn myself to the side. I'm gonna be going with three hip circles to just get myself to a right diagonal. One, two, three. Now, of course, that wasn't the only thing I was gonna do because that was a little silly just to kind of have my arms dangling. So we're gonna get our arms into position. The position we want to be in is to have our right hand touching the back of our head and the left hand framing our hip because we're gonna do something with our hip. So as we finish up our bumps and shimmies, we're gonna be shifting our arms into that position as we turn to the side. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And we want to end up with our weight on the right and have our left hip free because our accent over here is going to be a drop, lift, drop. Then we're gonna go back the other way. One, two, three circles. So those circles were going counterclockwise, stepping to my left, doing the same thing with my arms, just trained it off. I'm gonna do the same thing with my hips. So I have to kind of prep my hips up a little bit so they can drop, lift, drop. Now, when we go back to the other side, instead of doing the hips again, we'll shake it up a little bit and do some shoulders. So we're not gonna put our hands just like this. By the time we get around there, we just want our hands to be out. So we're gonna go from here to the right, one, two, three, and we're gonna do shoulders, right, left, right, and then back to the other side, one, two, three circles, and here again, the shoulders, right, left, right. All right, the last part of this section of our dance, we're going to do roll downs and roll ups with a shimmy accent on the end of them. So we're already here angled to the side, we're gonna stay right there. We're going to start with our roll down and we're going to make it nice and long and then shimmy it out. So if we're thinking of this like an eight count, our roll down, we should take the one, two, three, four, and then our shimmy would be the five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll roll it up slowly and shimmy it out for the five, six, seven. But on this one, instead of completely finishing out that eight, we're going to go ahead and hop to the other side. So try to hop over there on eight so that you're able to do the same thing to the opposite side. Roll down, shimmy, roll up, shoulder shimmy. And as we're finishing out this little part right here, we want to also start thinking about transitioning into the next part. The next part is gonna start with some drops on this side. So as your shoulder shimmy, it would be really easy to kind of step back with your right, get your left hip ready, and then just extend the arms right at the end of it so that you're ready to go into part three. So that's all you have for your part two homework. That's to what you need to work on and adding it on to part one so that you're ready for that last part next week. We're almost there.